a patient just underwent a procedure in which a portion of their stomach was removed and the remaining portion was reattached to their jejunum. Which of the following procedures did this patient most likely go through? A. Bill Roth 1 B. Bill Roth 2 C. LAGB D. Sleeve gastrectomy So let's highlight our keywords of procedure. A portion of their stomach was removed. Remaining portion was reattached to their jejunum and most likely go through. So let's start with A. So a Billroth-1 procedure, which is also known as a gastroduodenostomy, involves attaching the remaining portion of the stomach to the duodenum, but not the jejunum. So, considering what we have in the question, we could safely eliminate this answer choice. How about B? So a Billroth-2 procedure, which is also known as a gastrojejunostomy, involves attaching the remaining portion of the stomach to the jejunum. So, this is very much what we're looking for. Let's bank this answer and go on to the other answers just for good practice. Moving on to C, LAGB, which stands for Laparoscopic Adjustable Gastric Binding. And this involves placing a band around the upper part of the stomach. And what that's going to do is basically create a small pouch. But it won't involve removing a portion of the stomach or reattaching it to the jejunum. So considering that, we can safely eliminate this answer choice as well. How about D? So a sleeve gastrectomy involves removing a large portion of the stomach to create a tube-like structure. But again, it does not involve reattaching the stomach to the jejunum, so we can safely eliminate this answer choice as well, leaving us with B, a Billroth II procedure, and that is indeed the correct answer.